Eclipse Oxygen 1 is the first maintenance release of Eclipse Oxygen, the great annual simultaneous release of more than 80 Eclipse projects. With Oxygen 1A, which was released two weeks after Oxygen 1 on October 11, 2017, Eclipse runs out of the box with Java 9 and supports development for Java 9 as well as testing with JUnit 5. Here are some Java 9, JUnit 5, General, Gradle and PHP minor and major improvements for your Eclipse IDE. Let's code a Java 9 Hello World app that consists of two modules. A new Java project for the first module, Sample Unit. A new class Hello that returns the string Hello Java 9. Right-click the project, Configure, Create Module Info Java to create a jigsaw module that exports the package with our just created class. Another Java project for this second module, Sample App, the class App with the main method, calling the first module. To do this, the project of the first module must be added to the module path. All packages of the added module are now accessible. As before, configure Create Module Info Java to bundle the project as a module. Navigating to modules works as expected. Just as the code completion, control plus space, and the quick fixes, control plus one. Let's export the projects as jars and see if it can be run as a modularized Java 9 application. In Java 9, the version and main class are stored in the module. You have to wait for Oxygen 2 for that. Via an external tool configuration, we will run it on the command line. Java version, only to be sure. P is the module path. M, the module main class, module ID, slash, main class. We did it! In the Java search dialog, you can search for modules too. In addition to the modules, there are more changes compared to Java 8. Default interface methods have been introduced in Java 8. In Java 9, also private methods are allowed. In addition, the diamond operator is accepted for an unknown generic type. And effectively final variables are now allowed to be used as resources in a try with resources statement in contrast to Java 8. In the new JUnit test case dialog, make sure you have Jupyter for JUnit 5 selected. For example, in JUnit 5, exceptions can be caught using a lambda function. The caught exception can be checked further. To perform multiple checks, even if the first one fails, use assert all. Here are the results of both checks. The annotation display name changes the displayed name. Disabled tests are also counted, but displayed as skipped. Thanks to annotations, 
parameterized tests are very simple in JUnit 5. The displayed name can be changed directly in the parameterized test annotation. The comma separated values source annotation makes it super easy to get parameters via strings. A test factory creates a stream of dynamic tests, for example by using the stream, API and lambda functions. Tests can be tagged. In the run configuration, tags can be used for including or excluding. If using test methods in an inner class, make sure it is annotated as nested. A sneaky little bug in the three-way compare editor has been fixed. Copy all non-conflicting changes from left to right and copy all non-conflicting changes from right to left now work as expected. Changes of the side to which the changes are to be copied are no longer restored to the ancestor version by mistake. The Eclipse IDE for Java developers is now shipped with an RSS feed reader showing Eclipse announcements and community news by default. In other packages, the RSS feed reader can be installed via Help, Install new software, Work with, All available sites. And choose Cold Recommenders news feed. You can also add additional RSS feeds. For example, the Twitter feed of Eclipse Java IDE with tips and tricks for Java developers. The dark theme has been improved. For example, in the tab properties view, which is used for instance by the Projects Explorer, the header and the left area are darkened now. Gradle preferences can be set in the run configuration as before, but now also for a project and for the entire workspace. If built scans is enabled, and the Gradle built scan plugin is used in the Gradle execution view, you can jump via the new Open Build Scan button to Gradle Build Scan website. This way, information about the executed build can be shared. PHP 7.1, Composer and PHP Unit have been supported since the Oxygen main release. Here are three of several little Oxygen 1 things for PHP developers. True, False and Null are not PHP keywords. Auto-completion now correctly suggests them as constants in lowercase only. PHP doc is now correctly generated also for Boolean parameters. In source, generate getters and setters. The prefix is, instead of get, is used for getters of Boolean fields. These were some changes of Oxygen 1 and Oxygen 1A, the first release that fully supports Java 9 and JUnit 5. Download and read more about Eclipse Oxygen at eclipse.org slash oxygen. Thank you for watching and happy coding!